Hi everyone. I would like to thank all supporters and anti-war movements around the world who are marking the dark day of occupation of U.S. and NATO in Afghanistan. Respected friends, ten years ago U.S. and NATO invaded my country under the fake banners of women's rights, human rights and democracy. But after a decade, Afghanistan still remains the most unstable, most corrupt and most war-torn country in the world. The consequences of the so-called war on terror has only been made more bloodshed, crimes, barbarism, human rights, women rights violation, which has doubled the miseries and sorrows of our people. During these bloody years, tens of thousands of innocent civilians have been killed by occupation forces and terrorist groups. When Barack Obama took office in 2008, unfortunately his first news for my people was more conflict and more war. It was during Obama's administration that civilian death tolls increased 24%. And the result of the surge of troops of Obama's administration is more massacres, more crimes, violence, destruction, pain and tragedies. That's why he proved himself as a warmonger, as a second and even dangerous push. According Afghanistan Right Monitor in 2010, seven civilians were killed every day. U.S. and NATO tells us they will leave Afghanistan by mid of 2014, but from another hand, they are talking about U.S. permanent military bases in Afghanistan. They will not leave our country soon. They are there for their own strategic, regional and economic interests. That's why they want to change Afghanistan into military and intelligence base in Asia. The Western governments not only betray Afghan people, they betray their own people too. They are wasting their taxpayer money and the blood of their soldiers by support of a war which only safeguard the interest of the big corporation and the Afghan criminal warlords rulers. I think democracy never come by military invasion. Democracy without independence and justice is meaningless. This is only the nation who can liberate themselves. I believe the only solution for the catastrophic situation of Afghanistan is withdrawal of all of the troops from our country because their presence is making much harder our struggle for justice and peace by empowering the reactionary, dark-minded terrorist groups who are great obstacles for true democratic-minded elements. If honestly they leave Afghanistan, the backbone of fundamentalist warlords and Taliban will break. I hope one day Afghanistan also will see the glorious uprising like Middle East countries. As right now, we are witnessing the small uprising in some provinces of Afghanistan like Herat, Konar, Nangarhar, mazar sharif Farah, Kabul, and many other provinces, which is a big source of hopes for the bright future of Afghanistan. So now I would like to ask all peace-loving, justice-seekers, anti-war movements, and democratic-minded intellectuals, individuals around the world, to join their hands with democratic-minded people of our country who are able to fight against fundamentalism and occupation. Therefore, my message to you is please empower my people educationally, as I believe education is a key against ignorance and toward emancipation. Thank you very much. Long live freedom down with occupation.